You want to seal yourself. You can move over to see better. Seal yourself up from behind. You want to lock up the backs of those inner thighs. <laughs> and keep those shoulders back and down. I know it's tough with the distance here. We're going to lift those arms all the way up. Touch the ceiling with your fingertips. And then press it down with resistance. And let's just do two more. Up. And press. And that makes it down. And then hold it here. And then just take one wrist and pull it over to the side. Good. Deep breath. Hold it here. And let's come back to the center. We're going to switch. Pulling it over, getting that good stretch. And then bring it back to the center. Fingertips touch the ceiling. And then press it down. Round those shoulders back. Belly stays in. Toes are going forward. Arms are just coming out. We're going to lift up one knee. Tap your fingertips just under the kneecap. So lift it up. Give it a tap. And bring it down. So if you can, try not to touch the floor on your way down. If you need to, it's fine. We'll just do three more. And the third one, we hold. Hold. And now let's hold this next one up. Good deep breath and hold it here. Inhale and exhale. Get that stretch. And now we'll bring that one down. Belly is in. Shoulders back and down. Head up nice and tall. Arms come out. And we'll do the other side. Just give it a tap. And down. Tap. Tap. Three more. Three, two, and let's hold this next one. Pulling it up, good deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Just for four, three, two, and let's bring that down. We're going to take in one more good deep breath and come to the edge of your mat. Nice big exhale. Lift your arms right up to the ceiling. Bring it all the way up. We're going to just shift those hips back, letting that head fall toward the floor. Your knees are soft and just let that head hang. Lift that tailbone to the ceiling, let that head hang to the floor. Get that nice stretch. If you're not touching the mat, go ahead and bend your knees so you can touch the mat. And then when you're ready, you're going to walk those hands out. And come into a plank position. If you need to go onto your knees, that's fine. Neck is nice and long with your breaths. 
inhale and exhale. Your one straight line from that shoulder blade down to your heel. Just hold it there and keep just the back now. Inhale and exhale. So from here, we're going to take that left hand, put it under the nose, and then turn on to the left side. Big deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. You can always drop that bottom knee. And then we're going to bring that arm down. Both hands under the shoulder. Hold that center plank. Big deep breath. And now we're going to take that right hand under the nose. And turn on to our right side. Hold it here. Six, five, four, three, two. We're going to bring that one down. Both wrists under those shoulders. Hold it here. Four, three, two. And drop those knees down. Top of your feet on the floor. Press that bottom over the heels. And just take in that big stretch. Good deep breaths. We're going to slide those hands under the shoulders. Walk them around. Come on to your bottom. Bring those feet to the corner. We'll start with some stretches. Keeping that belly nice and deep. Shoulders back and down, head up tall. Pull those toes into your shins as we lift the arms all the way up. Nice big inhale. Exhale, reach forward as far as you can go. Reach, reach, reach. And then pull from that belly button to pull yourself back. And lift it up high. We'll do two more. Inhale up. Exhale, reach. And then pull from that belly button to pull it back. And lift it up high. We just have one more. Exhale, reach. We're going to hold this one here. Take that right hand, put it outside the ankle. Left arm reaches all the way up. And let's bring that down, lifting up the other side. Hold it here. And let's bring that one down. Slide that hand up, shoulders back and down. Belly is in, head up tall. Hands come behind the head, elbows out nice and wide. Keeping that belly tucked in tight, we're going to focus in on the waist as you turn and center and turn and center. Good deep breaths. Turn and turn to two more each side. Keeping that head up good and tall, focusing in on that waist. And now hold it here, bring those arms down, one foot in at a time, hands under the knees, and round that back. And flex your chest, let's just do that one more time. Round, and press. And now we're going to pull those knees in, push our bottom toward our heels, come on back. Let that head, neck, shoulders just fully relax on the mat. You want to take your time to get that lower back tucked into the floor, get that belly tucked into the spine. We're thinking about that lateral breath, that Pilates breath. And then we're gonna bring those legs up into a tabletop, and then we're gonna turn the heels so they touch, belly stays in, arms from now can stay by your side. And we're just gonna take turns, tapping, heel down, and lift, heel down, and lift. So alternating sides, bring it down. Good deep breaths. And now we're going to bring the hands behind the head and gently lift the chest if you can. Tap down and lift, tap down and lift. Good deep breaths, keeping that belly nice and tight. Just one more each side. And now hold that those heels together, belly is in, and bring the shoulders together. And now just bring both down and up. 
But if that's too much, you can let your head go back and bring those arms back by your side. And just do three more. Three, two, last one like this. Now hold it here. Bring those knees in. Give them a nice big hug. Go rock. Good deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Let's bring those legs all the way up. Go into that Pilates stance. We're going to lift that chest up. We'll reach those arms out so the fingertips are reaching for the wall in front of you. And we'll start with 100. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. If you need to put your head back, that's fine. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. You can make this easier by putting your legs in switching your top position or even bringing your feet to the floor. Or you can make it harder if you want to have 45 degrees. In one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. In one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. In one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Two more. And then pull those knees in, let that head go back, give it a nice little rock side to side. We're going to bring one foot down at a time, reach one leg out at a time. We're going to go right into roll ups, pulling that belly in. Nice big, big inhale as you start that lift. Exhale as you reach to the ceiling and then round it over, let that head just sink to the knees. And gently pull it back if you can. You're going to add a little bit of a hold and then come all the way. So we'll do six. Lift, round it over, and then pull it back. A little bit of a hold. And come back when we four to go. Up, touch the ceiling. Round it over. And then go to the back. Around over. And bring it back. Little hold. When we have two left on the last one, we're going to hold it at our feet. And bring it back. Little hold. So on this next one, we're holding it at our toes. We're going to hold it here. Let that hip just sink down. Get that mini stretch. Get a deep breath. So we're going to slide those hands back, lifting that chest up nice and tall. And we're going to bring our forearms down to the mat. We're holding here. Belly stays in. You want to keep that chest lifted nice and high. Pull one leg in at a time into tabletop position. Let's bring those legs out. Belly stays in nice and tight. And we're going to pull the leg in. And up. In. And out. In. And out. And a good deep breath. Pull and pull. We'll just do a couple more. If it bothers your back, you can go all the way back. And pull. Just one more each side. And pull. Now hold it here. And you're going to lift the right leg up, bend, and reach it out. Lift, bend, and reach. Lift, bend, and reach just two more. Then and reach just one more. And reach now, hold it here. Lift the left leg, bend and reach. Lift, bend and reach. Just three to go. And reach just two more. Up, bend and reach just one more time. Up, bend and reach. Now hold it here. Pull those knees in. Come all the way back. Lift those legs all the way up. You're going to take that left leg and bring it down to the floor. You can bend it if you need to. Toes stays up, arms by your side, or you can lift them to the ceiling. We're going to use that right leg, sweep it across the left, up to straight down from the hip, and lift it straight up. Cross it over, down, and a good deep breath. And and let's do two more. And let's last one. Keep that belly tucked in nice and tight. Hold it here. Now let's go out in the other direction. So bring it out, down, and lift. You want to keep those hips 
ground it tight into the floor. Keep the glutes nice and tight. Keep everything engaged. Lift just two to go. And lift just one more time. And lift now, hold it here, one hand above the other, belly stays in. We're walking our way up to the ankle. Find the tree. And then sending it back down. Rolling it up. And then sending it Walking it up. And then back down. Two left. Up. And then we're going to hold this next one. Up. Hold it here. That belly is in. I do the belly button. Just give it that stretch. Big deep breath. We're going to take that leg and cross it over, lifting that left arm up, pressing it down, and we're reaching behind you. So just look at that wall behind you. Let's just press that thigh in, getting that nice stretch. Good deep breath. And when you're ready, you can release. Come around and cross that leg, pull that thigh into the chest, pull the other thigh in. Put that right foot down. You can extend or bend the leg. Lift that left leg up. Point that toe, belly is in. Arms up or down. You're going to sweep that leg across the other. Straight down to your hip. And lift. You want to keep those glutes nice and tight. Keep those hips rounded to the floor. Remember, they're belted down. They cannot move. And lift just two to go. And lift just one more time. And lift now, hold it here. Let's go on the other Big deep breaths. Keep that glute nice and tight. And just three left. Two left. Last one. And now hold it here. One hand above the other. Belly is in. We're climbing our way to the top. Here we go. <laughs> and send it down. Walk it up. And send it down. Walk it up. And now we just have two left. Up. And down and on the next one we hold. Hold it here, belly in. Pulling it close, getting that nice stretch. Keep her with your back. And now we're going to bend it over, reach the arm up, press it in, and reach behind you for the stretch. Good deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. And then let's release. Uncross that leg. Pull that arm around. Pull that other knee in. You're going to round that back. And give it a press. We'll do that one more. And, and now hold it here as we scoot our way towards the top of the mat. We'll go right into rolling like a ball. So if you pick your position, you can have your hands on your hamstrings, make it a little easier. Bring it down onto your ankles or shins a little bit harder. Belly is in. We lift those feet up. Round back to your shoulder blades, not your neck. Don't let your feet touch the floor on the way back. And forward. Good deep breaths. We'll do three more. Two more. Last one. Hold it here. Extend that left leg. Left hand under the right knee. Elbow extended. Toes pointed. We're going to lift and lower the thigh. Big deep breaths. And then just four more. Try to touch that arm. Three, two, Last one here, let's flex the foot and release. Good deep. Just four left. Four, three, two, and one. Let's pull that in and switch sides. Point the toe to start. Good deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. Just four more. Two. Last one, flex the foot. And we're almost there. Four more. Three, two, 
And one let's pull that in. We're going to reach that left leg back out. Left hand under the right knee. Right hand above the ankle. Let's pull it in as we pull back. Coming that chest into your thigh. Pull, pull, and switch. Pull, pull, and switch. Inhale, exhale. So if you can, that chest is lifted. Eyes on your belly button. If that's too much, let your head go back. Three, two, last one each side. And now we're going to hold both knees in. Nice big inhale as you reach back. Exhale as you pull forward. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Out and pull it in. We just have four left. Four. So same thing if you can. Eyes on your belly button if you need to. Let that hip go back. Let's do one more. Pull it. Lift those legs all the way up. Belly squeeze in. We're going to take that left leg and let it hover just above the floor. Lift that chest a little bit higher. Reach your arms out. Try to touch the wall in front of you. And just hold for six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's lift that left leg up. Bring that right leg down. Lift that chest a little higher. Six, five, four, three, Two. Let's lift that leg up. Both hands on that right ankle. We're lowering the leg as you can go. Left leg almost to the floor. Pull, pull, and switch. Pull, pull, and switch. Inhale, exhale. Good deep breaths. Pull, pull, and switch. Let's do three more. Two left. Last one each side. And then we're going to hold both legs up, hands behind that head, belly is in. We're going to bring those legs down just as low as you can without letting that lower back go to the floor, and then bring them back to 90 degrees. So there's no momentum. Very controlled. Good deep breaths. You only have a few more. You don't have to make the top that big. Just do what you can do. Three. Two. Let's do two more. Yay. <laughs> one more. It's just so fun. Let's do one more. <laughs> and then bend those knees in, belly stays in, and we're going to crisscross. So go elbow to opposite knees, you can turn this way, and we reach to the other side. So use your eyes to watch the elbow. That goes behind you. See it with your eyes. Reach and keep that belly tucked tight. Use those eyes to see that elbow that goes behind you. Three. Is everybody seeing their elbow? Yes. Yes. Four. Oh, <laughs> three. <laughs> Should we start again? No. <laughs> One more time. And then pull those knees in. Give a nice big hug. <laughs> Let rock side to side. Hold it here. All right. Well, when you're ready, scoot yourself up. Go ahead and grab a sip of water, and we're going to turn it around. All four. <clears throat> All right. Everyone ready? Ready. Around that back way. Up. And let's just do two more. Round the way up. And press. One more time. And press. And that deep, a nice long spine. That neck is long as your spine. That belly stays tucked in. We're going to reach out that right arm. Palm face in, left leg, and reach it out long to the center of those hips. Good deep breath, just forward here. Inhale, next. Make sure those hips are centered. And then we're going to pull that elbow and knee into center and reach it back out. 
full and reach. Exaggerate that full from the powerhouse. If this has gotten to the point where it's easy for you, go ahead and close your eyes. It makes it a little more challenging. Two more. Last one. Reach it out, palm faces down, and then tap the floor with that fingers and toes. Squeeze those glutes. We'll just do three more. Two. The last one, now hold it here. Turn the palm in, bring that hand and knee it. Round that back leg up, and press what you see one more time. Round back. And press. And that's that that good long time. That belly is in, that good long. Reach out that left arm. Reach out that right leg. That palm is facing in, like you're shaking someone's hand. Just hold it here. Make sure everything's centered. Belly is in. You ready? Pull and reach. Pull and reach. Good deep breaths and reach. Pull. And first is one more. Three. Two. The last one. Now reach it out. Turn that palm down and gently tap the floor with your fingers and toes. You want to squeeze those glutes nice and tight. Tap. Just four. Three. Two. The last one, now hold it here, turn that palm in, bring that hand and knee in, round that back way up, and press it down. Round way up, and chest. And then you want to keep that belly in, that spine is long. We're going to come onto our forearms, and we're going to step out one leg at a time into a plank position. So if this is too much. You want to drop your knees. That's fine. If you want to skip this next part, that's fine. We're going to pull our knee up outside of the elbow and then bring it back. Bring the knee up and back. Alternating sides. Good deep breaths. Pull and pull. Just do four more. Four and pull. Three. And pull, two, and pull, last one each time. And then hold it here, do a deep breath, and then tap the hip to the center, and then tap to the other side. Two deep breaths, and tap. We're just doing eight, five to go, four, four. Three, two, one more time this side. And hold it here, drop those knees, walk those hands back, and press that knee over the other side of your head. Nice deep breath. We're going to open up those knees, press your chest through, and you can reach those arms out long. Good deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. And when you're ready, you're going to slide the hands under. Pull those knees under the hips. Round that back way up. And press as you see that one more time. And back. We're going to walk it back out. We'll do one more plank here. We'll use the, the leg pull. So again, you want to launch your forearms. Go ahead. We're going to use long arms. Toes rolled under. You can always drop to your knees. You can always skip it. Neck is long. Eyes over your fingertips. We're going to point that left toe. Squeeze up, tap down. Squeeze up, tap. Squeeze, tap. Squeeze, tap. Just two more. And then bring that way down another side. Squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Just hold for six. Five, four, three, two, and drop the knee forward. 
Pass of your feet on the floor, press it back. And then three breaths. Inhale and exhale. When you're ready, just slide those hands back under. Walk it around. Take a seat on the mat. Hands under those knees and round it back. And the left Let's do that once more. And press. And now we'll bring those feet to the corners. Belly stays in. We're going to do two fine stretch forward. Lift your way up. Round it forward. Go as far as you can. Pull from the belly button and pull it back. And one more time. Let's play up with big inhale. Exhale. As you reach, let's hold it here. If you can, you can open up those arms and grab onto your feet. Pulling that belly deep into your spine, letting that head just hang. And then let's slide those hands up the legs, shoulders back and down. Reach the arms out and we'll do the stop. We're going to give it a pulse, pulse, and then lift. So if you can, you're touching that pinky finger to your pinky toe. If that's too much, just go as far as you can. Big deep breaths. Use your eyes to look at the hand that goes behind you. Reach, reach, and reach, reach. Let's just do that one more time. And lift. And lift. Now hold it here. One hand comes in at a time. The belly stays in. Shoulders stay back in them. We're going to scoot our way towards the top of the mat. And we'll do the open leg rockers. So if you don't like to go back, you don't have to. The belly is in. You stay here. Just work on that balance. If you are going to roll back, work with your flexibility. Not at all flexible. You're here. Hands on the hamstring. Like foot bent. A little, a little bit more. About here, this is where most of us are. And if you're super flexible, you're at your ankle or some of you can even get your toes. You ready? Belly in. Let's round it back. And come forward. So you want to try to keep your legs in the same position from start to finish. Let's do two more. One more. And now hold it here and just try to challenge yourself a little bit. So you're going to try to straighten your legs a little more. Bring your hands a little lower. So just a little bit. You ready? We'll go two more. One more. And then pull that in. Breathe down. Hands on the knees. Round that back. And touch the shoulder. Just once more. Round back. And press. And let's turn it around. We'll come on to our side. We're going to bring our back against the back of the mat. Feet to the front corner. Ear can rest on the palm of your hand. That would make it more challenging. Come on up. Or you can just press down on your bicep. Whatever works for you. Belly is in. Toe goes up. Back against the back. You get front corner. Nice big kick. Squeeze. Kick. And squeeze. Up. And squeeze. We'll do four more. When it goes up, it's nice and easy. When it comes down, you're Pushing it down here, squeezing it down. Now hold it here, point the toe, you have a penny at your ankle. You want to drag that penny up to your inner thigh, take a kick, and squeeze back down. We'll do four of these. Slide it in, kick. One more time. Kick. Squeeze it down, point that toe, belly in, and circles to the front. Very controlled. We keep that upper body nice and still. We'll just do four more. Three, two, last one. Now hold it here. And let's go backward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one here, hold it here, and big bicycle circle. So if you keep that upper body still, you can bring the hand over your head. But if that's you find it moving around, you want to put your hand back. One more, three, two, 
The last one, let's pedal it backward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, only three to go. Two left. The last one, hold it here. We're gonna turn those heels together, lift a little bit up off the floor and meet those heels together. Good deep breaths. We just have four sets of these. Two sets left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Down, cut and pound it out. We're going to reach those legs all the way out. Come on to our chest. Keep that belly nice and tight. Neck is long with your spine. Nicely inhale as you reach away from your body. And then exhale as you lift and hold. Six, five, four, three, two, and then relax. Now we're going to bring our arms so they're at the corners of the mat. So if you picture your body making the letter Y, that's what you want to see. You ready? As we inhale, we reach away from the body. As we exhale, we lift and hold. Good deep breaths. Just lift it home. Six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Now we're going to bring our arms out to make a T with our body. Belly in, neck is long. Nice big inhale, reach away from the body. Exhale, lift and hold. Keep that neck long to the spine. Big deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Four, three, two, and release. Now we're going to bring those arms in by our sides. Palms face up. Same thing. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, lift and hold. Neck stays long with your spine. Think of it as one straight line. Big deep breath. Six, five, four, Three, two, and release. And let's bring those elbows underneath the shoulder. Just press that chest up. And hold it here, get a good stretch. Good deep breaths. If you want to go deeper, go ahead and bring your hands down. We'll lift it up a little bit higher. Good deep breaths. If you want, you can curl your toes under and lift your thighs up the floor and just really crush that chest through the shoulders, getting that nice stretch. Good deep breaths. Inhale. And we're going to drop those knees down, top of the feet on the floor, press that line back over your heels, and get that nice stretch. Good deep breaths. Inhale. When you're ready, slide the hands under the shoulders, walk them to the front of the mat, and bring your feet to the other side of the mat. So your back is to the back, feet at the front corner, make sure you switch sides. Belly is in. Your wrist either on the palm of your hand or onto your bicep. Or you can do, lift it onto that forearm, toe goes up, nice big kick. Squeeze down. And squeeze. Kick. And squeeze. Up. And now let's do four more. Three. Two. Last one like this. Hold it here. Point that toe. We're going to slide those toes to the other side. Give you kick. And squeeze it back down. Slide it in. Kick. And squeeze. We just have four of these. One more. And squeeze, point that toe belly in. And we're going to make circles to the front. Good deep breaths. Just four more. Three. Two. And one. And now let's go backwards. Eight. Seven. Four, two, last one, hold it here, and bicycle. So hands over the head or keep it supporting that upper body, whatever works for you. 
Long as you can put that upper body still, that's the most important part. Four, three, two, last one. And now pedal backwards. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one now, just turn that toe up. Bring that bottom leg up, toe goes down. You keep those heels together. Good, deep breath. We just have four sets of these. We're on our second set. Third set. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Pound it out. We're going to pull those knees in and turn onto our back. Go ahead and get yourself a cup of water if you want. When you're ready, you just going to be on your back. A little rock side to side. And when you're ready, you're just going to bring those feet down to the floor. You want to make sure your toes are forward, your heels are lined up with your hips, shoulders are down away from your ears. Take your time to press that belly into that spine. Get everything organized back where we were when we started. Taking that good deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Putting everything where it's supposed to be. When you're ready, you're going to start at your tailbone and gently round yourself up, starting at that tailbone, lifting into that shoulder bridge. From here, just take your time and walk those heels back so you can touch them with the tips of your fingers. Make sure your feet stay facing forward and just hold it here. Big deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Relaxing the head, neck, and shoulders. Holding here. And now starting at the top of your spine, you're going to gently start pulling yourself down. Little by little until you come all the way down to your tailbone. If that was not very difficult for you, then you're going to take your right leg, bring it up to the ceiling, touching that toe to the ceiling. If that was hard with both feet on the floor, keep both feet on the floor. So we're going to start at the tailbone again. Round those hips up. Hold it here. Make sure those glutes are nice and tight. So the right leg is lifted up. So that means the left glute is taking on most of the work. So we're going to tap that glute down and squeeze the knees back up. Tap the hips down, squeeze back up. You want to keep everything centered, but you're really focusing in on that left glute. Good deep breaths. Squeeze up. And then lift and then up and down. Let's just do three more. Three and two. And last one, we're going to cross that ankle over the thumb, press that knee down, and just lift and hold. Good deep breath. Inhale, exhale, let's hold for six, five, four. Three, two, and now start at that top of the spine. Gently bringing yourself down. You're going to uncross that leg. Make sure those heels are lined up with your hips. Starting at that tailbone, round yourself up. Make sure you can still touch those heels with the tips of your fingers and just hold it here. Six, five, four. Three, two, and now start at the top of your spine, gently bringing yourself down, little by little. And then once you're all the way, if you had lifted that right leg up, you lift that left leg up. Make sure those glutes are nice and tight. 
That belly tucked in, start at your tailbone and round those hips up. Now really focusing on the right glute this time. We're gonna tap those hips down and squeeze up. Tap down, squeeze up. Here's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Hold this next one up, cross that angle over, press that knee down, lift a little higher, and just hold it here. Good deep breaths. Inhale, let's just pull. Now start at the top of that spine and gently bring yourself down. We're going to uncross that ankle. We're going to lift our toes up off the floor so you're pressing into your heels. Again, start at that tailbone. Lift yourself up. Squeeze those glutes tight and let's tap them. Squeeze up. So you're just on your heels if you can. If this is too much, go ahead and put those feet all the way down. We're going to lift and lower. As you lift, you want to really squeeze extra tight. As you come down, you keep everything engaged. But when you come up, you squeeze extra tight. Let's add in squeezing those knees together. So on the lift, squeeze, open, and tap down. Lift, squeeze, open, tap. Lift, squeeze, open, tap. We'll just do three more. Squeeze, open, Tap just two left. And tap last one. And tap now. Lift it back up. Hold it here. Walk the feet out about a foot. Lift up a little higher. Now we keep those glutes super tight. Tap down. Squeeze up. Tap down. Squeeze up. Tap down. Squeeze up. Tap down. Squeeze up. Just four more. Four, three, two. Let's hold this next one up. We're going to walk the feet out further. So you're going to really engage those hamstrings. Lift up a little higher. Tap down, squeeze up. Tap down, squeeze up. Tap down, squeeze up. Tap down, squeeze up. Everyone feeling those hamstrings? Glutes up. Squeeze up. And I'll let you do four more. Four. Three. Two. And then let's bring it all the way down. Walk those feet in. Pull one knee in at a time. And just a nice big hug with the rock side to side. Good deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. We're going to take that right leg and fully cross it over the left side. Reach your hands down. You can lift your chest and grab onto your heels if you can. Otherwise, just reach your hands down and grab your ankles. But just as much as you can. And then you're going to let that head go back. Pull the knees up toward your chin as you press the thighs to your chest. Good deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. That nice stretch into the third form. Hold it here. So you're pushing the knees to your chin, pressing the thighs to your chest. Good deep breaths. Six, five, four, three, two. And release, so let's uncross and cross on the other side. So same thing, just reach as far as you go. If you get the heels, great. If you just get the shins or the ankles, that's fine too. You're going to pull those thighs into your chest and then push the knees up to your chin. Good deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. Let's go straight. Seven, six. Four, keep pushing those knees up. Three, 
to and it's unprocessed. So I'm going to put the left foot on the floor just lift that right leg up for a stretch. Feel a deep breath. Point and flex. Inhale, exhale, round the foot in. Round it out. And now we're just going to take that leg, use the right hand, let the left arm go by your side, and just let that right leg fall out to the right side. If you're really flexible, go ahead and straighten the left leg. If not, keep it bent. You want to keep the hips and the shoulder blades on the floor and just go with your natural flexibility. You don't want to force it. Just let it come down. Do it in a deep breath. And now let's bring it back in. You're going to switch hands, take that left hand onto the ankle, right arm comes out by your side. And now think about pulling that right thigh to your left shoulder. Bring it up toward the opposite shoulder. And again, just keep the hips and the shoulder blades down. So you're just going with as much as it'll move with keeping everything in place. Good deep breaths. Inhale. And then let's release there. We're going to bend that knee in. Bring that foot down. Pull that other knee in. Lift the leg up. And just start with the hamstring stretch. Good deep breaths. Point and flex. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. And then you're going to take that right arm, just bring it by your side, and let that left leg fall out to the left side. You're just holding on to that left ankle, letting it fall out as much as it feels natural. You want to feel it stretch. You don't want to feel any pain. Keeping the hips and the shoulder blades on the floor. Four, three. Two, we're going to pull that back in, switch hands, the right hand is wrapped onto that ankle, left arm goes by your side. You're going to pull that left thigh up to the right shoulder. Good deep breath. So think about pulling it right to the shoulder. You want to feel the stretch, but you don't want to feel any pain. So if it hurts, release that stretch some. Four, three, two. Let's bend that knee in. Pull that other knee in. Give it that little rock side to side. Good deep breaths. And let's just put one foot down on the floor at a time. We're going to bring the soles of those feet together and let your knees just drop out to the sides. Pull those shoulders down away from your ears. Let's take that right hand and just put it over the belly and the left hand over your heart. Go ahead and close your eyes. Do a deep breath. So you're releasing that navel spine. And let that belly rise and fall. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and shake your head to left to right like you're saying no. Inhale, exhale, just loosen up that neck. And then go ahead and just bring your arms by your side and reach those legs out. And fully relax that head, neck, and shoulders. Close your eyes. Take in a good deep breath through your nose. And then a big, big exhale through your mouth. Inhale deep through your nose. Exhale through. One more time. Good. Deep, deep inhale. Big, big exhale. And now just continue to breathe softly and deeply 
touch your own with your eyes, please. Push those shoulders down away from your ears. Relax the head. Relax the neck. Relax the shoulders. Let that body just sink into the floor. You want to feel it ease in your back and stretch your body. And when you're done with this exercise, you'll feel relaxed and open, but alert and energized and ready to go about the rest of your day, meeting any demands that might arise. So when you're ready, take your time for one meeting at a time to your chest. Give it that little rock side to side. And then scoot yourself up to a seated position. Bringing those feet behind you and coming into an all fours position. Rounding that back way and pressing it down. One more time, round it up. That's this time when you round up, you're going to roll those toes under. Walk your hands in. Pull the toes in the butt. Walk your hands in the toes. And just hold it there. So if you can, you're going to stick your fingers under your toes and press down on those fingers with your toes and pull up on the toes with your finger. And you let that head just hang a little more. And let the head feel down. Going up and pressing down. And then you gently release those toes and wash your hands to your knees. Clasp them behind your knees. Pull that belly deep into your spine and push those shoulders down. Nice deep breath. And then when you're ready, you're going to gently walk those hands up your thighs. Use that nice and easy. And then around your shoulders back. Four. Three, two, one more time. Let's take a nice deep breath. Reach all the way up. And a big, big exhale. And just one more time. All the way up. And bring it down. And thank you guys so much for coming in. It does. It does. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm drinking that Yeah, I'm drinking that I know, it, it does. Thank 